Okay, okay, so how did this even happen? A lot of work, that's, that's how it happened. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Brown Table where I just can't stop animating Spider-Man. And today I want to talk about the process of adding Spider-Man into that Agent Spider sequence from the show Invincible, as well as showing you the end result at the end of this video. Now the entire process was grueling. Here's the thing. If this entire scene didn't have camera movements, then I could just export one frame every time there is a character movement. Then I could just simply export every frame a character moves. But the camera is moving in most shots. Meaning, I had to export every single frame, and then animate Spider-Man on top of that frame and shift him constantly to compensate for the camera moving. If that doesn't make sense to you, I'll summarize. I had to export a total of 1600 frames. Next up, making a character sheet for Spider-Man. I wanted him to look like he could fit in the Invincible world, so I got the Invincible character sheet and drew over that so he has a more realistic body, and I gave him the spectacular Spider-Man design. Because yeah, Josh Keaton voices Spider-Man here, I gotta pay homage to his show in this animation. Though I did try to give him slightly tweaked lenses to make that at least a little similar to how Ryan Otley illustrates Spider-Man. Ryan Otley's like essentially the main artist of the Invincible comics. But there was another issue. The episode has the character Professor Octopus appear, and of course everyone wants this to to actually be Dr. Octopus, you know? It's sadly an impossible task. If someone wanted to actually put Dr. Octopus in the scene, they just have to reanimate the entire scene at that rate. But thanks to y'all's suggestions, we found a compromise of making Professor Ock green and yellow, making him closer to the comics. And since this is meant to be an alternate universe spectacular Spider-Man's Dr. Octopus, I figured out a way to have his ugly mug show up, and when you see the animation, you'll know. Also, this was really brutal because I had to go frame by frame and paint this guy green and yellow, so yeah. To also really emphasize that this is Spectacular Spider-Man and Spectacular Doc Ock, or at least a version of them, I want to thank at Mr. Saren on Twitter. He got me these audio bites of Spider-Man bantering against Dr. Octopus that you hear at the beginning of the animation. I also redid some animation completely. Like there's certain shots that I just didn't really vibe with too much or wanted to put my own spin on. So I just kind of did my own thing. And doing that was a lot of fun cause it kind of gets boring doing draw overs after a while. Also huge thanks to Sensational Nico for helping me out on two shots. Saved my ass for real. From there I had to edit in my own sound effects and add different music to prevent copyright claims, which also meant voicing Invincible himself. I kinda had to do that anyway because he refers to Agent Spider's red eyes, so. At my recording closet, time to do these, uh, these Invincible lines. Uh, I'm not gonna sound like Steven Yeun, cause I'm not him, but um, I'm gonna try my best to kind of sound similar enough. What? What? No, were you, were you trying to hurt this old man? What? No, were you, were you trying to hurt this old man? What? No, were you? Were you trying to hurt this old man? This is hard. What? No, were you- were you trying to hurt this old man? After that, I had to put everything together. Compositing was tough, but fun. And I added a new lighting pass to make sure everything looks really pretty. And yeah, it was a long, arduous process, but it was a lot of fun. And I hope you enjoy the end result. Spider-Man! Hey, Doc! Love the new look. You ever Say cheese! <laughs> Talk about your bad luck, Ock. Oh, shit. Are you okay? I didn't mean to... Hey, thanks, pal. Let's get this guy webbed up. What? No, are you... What, are you trying to hurt this old man? Ugh. Look, I saw the portal. I know you're from another dimension. Got way too much experience with that, especially lately. So, uh, trust me, I'm the good guy here, and Mr. Mechanical Arms is not. Look, you're just like a spider man, man. How am I supposed to- yeah! Yep, told you. Hey, thanks so much for watching the video. Make sure to check out Interstellar Ranger Commence, the animated series Brown Table's making. If you want to support the channel, please become a member. And hey, subscribe and turn on notifications to become a chair and become part of the Brown Table. So thanks so much for watching the video, and I'll see you all next time.